It was the absolute first article that visited our area in the planetary group from outside the planetary group. It moved too quick to possibly be bound to the sun, the very first item that we have viewed as coming to us from interstellar space from other places. People have been investigating space throughout recent decades. Regularly, we're the ones that go visit the furthest finishes of the sunlight-based framework and pass to find things that we can't with a standard telescope. The overall thought is that these things exist. They're there in space and we just need to proceed to track down them. Yet, with the revelation of Umu Amua, all of that changed. The incredible guest from Profound Space has been discussed a ton for the beyond couple of weeks. This item is basically a piece of another nearby planet group that was ousted yet presently the James Webb Telescope just uncovered the genuine picture of the space monster and well it's unveiled things that nobody saw coming. Join us as we dig further into this picture and how the disclosure of Umu Amua has influenced the universe of science and space. Umu Amua is a peculiar and fascinating object most definitely. It arose out of the profundities of room and made the whole world halt abruptly when the object was affirmed. Everybody needed to find out about it since in no way like this had at any point been found. This stretched stoga-shaped guest shown up in our planetary group from a far-off domain past our own. It's essentially a puzzling interstellar voyager wandering through the endlessness of space to pay us a transient visit. It's especially odd appearance, which sort of seems to be a slim stogie or as I like to call it an enormous needle, causes it dissimilar to anything we have experienced before. This phenomenal disclosure unfurled on October 19th, 2017, at the point when the PanStars 1 telescope in Hawaii looked into the night sky and uncovered the presence of Umu Amua. It was a fantastic occasion as this denoted the first time cosmologists distinguished an object starting from outside our planetary group. Significantly more insane was the reality that it really made it as far as possible into our nearby planet group and was going straight for Earth. UA's startling appearance was most likely quite possibly the greatest things that had at any point happened. It was critical to plunge further into it since it seemed like the way to opening the secrets of our astronomical environments. That is the reason a genuine picture of it is nothing to joke about except for a picture isn't where they will stop. Researchers have made courses of action to use the exceptional James Webb Space Telescope for concentrating on interstellar items as they go through our nearby planet group. Being the initial one of the telescope's remarkable qualities lies in its capacity to assemble and dissect infrared light, making it a significant device for this specific examination. Equipped with cutting-edge high-goal and high-awareness instruments, the Webb Telescope has an unmatched ability to notice protests that are excessively old, far-off, or faint for other telescopes to catch. This uncommon responsiveness and power make a unique chance for researchers to jump head first into the secrets of interstellar objects, unveiling their compound synthesis and unwinding their valid nature. This is all basically difficult to study from Earth on the off chance that you simply take a gander at the objects without as a matter of fact getting a very nitty-gritty look at them. The James Webb Space Telescope's high-level setup of infrared cameras adds an additional layer of accuracy to the picture of interstellar objects. With its sharp eye, the telescope can render intricate subtleties and subtleties portraying these enthralling divine guests as they venture inside our observational reach. So regardless of whether you are not getting genuine photographs that are in one piece, it's capable to put hundreds if not a great many pictures together to make one super picture that has each and every detail you would at any point need to see. Since it's able to do catching the slightest and generally subtle parts of these interstellar articles, the Webb Telescope empowers researchers to lead weighty examination and unwind the mysteries that falsehood stowed away inside the profundities of the universe. However, that is simply only the beginning. The Webb Telescope truly expands the wildernesses of investigation by permitting researchers to investigate the profundities of room at sizes or brilliance levels were beforehand incomprehensible. This opens up a domain of genuinely interesting logical requests, pushing the limits of our information and comprehension of the universe. For this reason, they wound up picking the James Webb Telescope and not the PanStars-1 telescope to do this further exploration. That doesn't mean that the PanStars-1 telescope isn't great at what it does. It's simply the two are genuinely unique. The University of Hawaii's PanStars-1 telescope stands as a striking galactic instrument positioned at the highest point of Halaka on the delightful island of Maui, Hawaii. With its 1.8M width, this telescope plays a fundamental job in the aggressive PanStars project, a cooperative exertion including regarded establishments, for example, 
the University of Hawaii Foundation for Stargazing, MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Maui High Performance Computing Center, and Science Applications International Corporation. At its core, the PanSTARRS-1 telescope is intended for wide-field cosmic imaging, offering a panoramic perspective on space. Its essential mission is to conduct extensive studies of the night sky, catching the excellence of heavenly objects in optical frequencies, from far-off systems and swirling nebulae to tricky comets and space rocks. The telescope vigorously examines the universe, documenting the miracles that populate our vast universe. To deal with the huge volume of information gathered during these surveys, the PanSTARRS-1 telescope depends on the brilliant PS-1 Picture Handling Pipeline, IPP. This forefront programming naturally processes and breaks down huge measures of observational information, extracting important bits of knowledge and empowering space experts to make notable disclosures. The force of cutting-edge calculations and computational procedures meets up to play an urgent job in uncovering the mysteries stowed away inside the huge number of heavenly pictures caught by PanSTARRS. One of the most momentous features of the PanSTARRS-1 telescope is its association in the PanSTARRS Near-Earth Object Study. This aggressive task centers around deliberately examining the whole sky north of declination less 47.5, persistently looking for close-to-Earth objects that might represent a likely danger to our planet which is the reason it was the one to find Umu Amua. In any case, it wasn't precisely examining for that specific article. Rather, it was simply taking care of its business and wound up finding Umu Amua in the process. At first, the scientists were almost completely sure that a coming space rock was going toward Earth. That is genuinely typical when an unidentified space object is distinguished. It is commonly arranged to circle the sun as a space rock. Consequently, UA was at first classified as one as a result of its appearance and conduct. It was an odd rock plunging through the planetary group so that order appeared to be legit. Anyway, as the gathered information was handled and broke down, it turned out to be clear that this secretive interstellar voyager was not normal for any customary space rock. It made heads spin by suddenly adjusting its direction, raising captivating inquiries regarding its valid nature. However, this is where things took a turn. What is happening turned out to be progressively pressing due to Umueamu's fast velocities through our planetary group. Time was of the pith, and the specialists confronted a weighty test. They had a simple 11 days to accumulate as much data as conceivable about this improbable guest before it turned out to be excessively far to concentrate any longer. As time passed, the valuable chance to gather information got less and less accentuating the requirement for quick and proficient examination. The tension was mounting, realizing that any deferral would possibly upset their comprehension of this unprecedented peculiarity. Furthermore, well, assuming there's any division that knows how to utilize time the correct way, it's NASA, so they just chose to get the serious weapons to reveal insight into Umueamu's qualities. The ESO's actual huge telescope in Chile came into the image. The imposing instrument was entrusted with precisely estimating the object's aspects, capturing its orbit, and investigating its tone and brilliance consistently. Detail of the stone's surface and construction happened to fundamental significance. Thinking about this was an article that nobody had at any point even imagined before. It was vital that the scientists essentially caught as much information as conceivable on the grounds that that way they could simply process and study it later as well. However, once Umu Amua left the nearby planet group, there probably won't be another chance to get the data once more. So, this was an ideal opportunity to acquire each analyst, each instrument that could accumulate information and concentrating on it would be to a greater extent a stage to thing here now. While one could expect that the acquisition of point-by-point -point information would bring clearness and dispose of the greater part of the disarray surrounding the puzzling stone, the inverse wound up occurring. As the subtleties arose, the inquiries surrounding Umu Amua just developed. The remarkable characteristics and astounding way of behaving of this interstellar guest proceeded to perplex scientists, leaving them with additional inquiries than responds to when we normally contemplate a space rock, whether it's a space rock or a comet. Our mind ordinarily makes a picture of round, or if nothing else, a fairly circular article. This assumption isn't exactly far off, as most divine bodies in space will quite often take on round shapes, and the purpose for this lies in the gravitational forces at play within an object. The particles are normally drawn into a single gravitational draw like that of the sun or generally other huge heavenly bodies. 
This gravitational force keeps the particles reduced and circular. However, that's not all the brutal circumstances of the open space characterized by flotsam and jetsam, gases, and tension further support the inclination for objects to keep a circular structure. Keeping these normal characteristics as a top priority, one of the most confounding parts of Oumuamua was its flighty shape. It strayed essentially from the normal round or even sporadic shape associated with regular space objects. Rather, Oumuamua showed up as in prolonged structure, looking like a monster space stogie. The sheer size of this interstellar voyager was similarly marvelous, with a radius of approximately 200 m and a length 10 times more noteworthy than its width. Such extents were uncommon, particularly inside our planetary group, which ranges a huge distance of 28.74 billion kilometers. Adding to the disarray, analysts found that Oumuamua shone an unmistakable ruddy tint. This rosy shading is frequently seen in objects situated inside the external regions of our planetary group, principally credited to the presence of encompassing residue. Yet, Oumuamua wasn't made of residue at all. It appeared to be made solely out of rock and metals, without any trace of water ice or any of the other normal parts viewed as in heavenly bodies. When you consider its significant size and organization, you could expect that Oumuamua would travel through space at a genuinely relaxed speed. However, the truth was a remarkable inverse. Once again, this huge space stoga defied assumptions by tearing through the planetary group at an astounding pace of 196,000 miles per hour. The speed wasn't consistent, fluctuating all through its journey. The explanations for this right off the bat, the gravitational draw of the sun applied its impact, moving Yuyue nearer. However, then, at that point, there was a second mysterious power, imperceptible to our eyes, that appeared to be effectively impelling or controlling the interstellar object, which is something that doesn't generally happen. This is where significantly more inquiries began to pop up. Was Umu Amua being constrained by an obscure substance, or perhaps it was being controlled from within? Yet, the first question the analysts needed to tackle was where it even came from. Through cautious examination of its speed and direction, Researchers had the option to follow Oumuamu's starting points back to the area of the star Vega, the most brilliant star in the northern heavenly body of Lyra. Yet, the monstrous length of its interstellar journey implied that Yuyue had really been in nearness to Vega for, in any event, 300,000 years. Regardless of going at a normal speed of 59,000 m each hour, further as a result of the huge timescales included, Vega itself might not have been available in the locale when Oumuamu had gone through starting from the beginning wasn't truly affirmed as of now. The look for it went on one review proposes that's an interesting theory suggesting Oumuamu is possible, a piece that started from a larger heavenly body. The discovery of Oumuamu marked a significant milestone in our understanding of interstellar objects. Its peculiar characteristics and unexpected arrival from outside our solar system have sparked intense scientific curiosity and debate. Since its detection in 2017 by the PanStars-1 telescope in Hawaii, Oumuamua has challenged many existing theories about the formation and behavior of celestial bodies. One of the most striking features of Oumuamua is its elongated shape, resembling a cigar or needle. This shape is highly unusual for asteroids and comets typically observed within our solar system, which are usually irregular or roughly spherical due to gravitational forces and collisions over time. Oumuamua's elongated form has led scientists to speculate about its possible origins and how such shapes could be formed in other star systems. Moreover, Oumuamua exhibited a reddish hue, which is common among objects found in the outer regions of our solar system due to the presence of organic compounds and ices altered by radiation over time. However, the composition of Oumuamua did not fit this typical profile. Spectral analysis indicated that it lacked significant amounts of water ice or other volatiles, suggesting it was predominantly rocky or metallic. This composition further puzzled astronomers, as it differed markedly from the composition of most comets and asteroids observed within our solar system. Another intriguing aspect of Oumuamua was its high velocity as it traversed through our solar system. Moving at speeds exceeding 196,000 miles per hour, Oumuamua was not bound by the gravitational pull of the sun in the same way as objects originating from within our solar system. This velocity also varied throughout its journey, indicating the influence of other forces or interactions with interstellar medium that are not fully understood. 
The origin of Umuamua has been a subject of intense investigation. By analyzing its trajectory and speed, scientists have traced its likely point of origin to the vicinity of the star Vega in the constellation Lyra. Oumuamua's journey through interstellar space before entering our solar system suggests it may have been wandering through the Milky Way for millions or even billions of years before encountering our Sun. The discovery of Oumuamua prompted a rapid response from astronomers around the world to gather as much data as possible before it moved beyond the reach of our telescopes. Observatories such as the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile and the Hubble Space Telescope were enlisted to study Oumuamua in detail. These observations aim to capture its rotation, analyze its surface properties, and gather clues about its composition. One of the key puzzles surrounding Oumuamua is its unusual tumbling motion. Unlike most asteroids and comets that exhibit predictable rotation due to gravitational forces, Oumuamua appeared to be spinning chaotically. This tumbling motion suggested that Oumuamua had experienced significant perturbations during its long journey through interstellar space possibly due to collisions or interactions with other celestial bodies. Furthermore, the size of Oumuamua was estimated to be around 800 meters in length and only 80 meters in width, giving it an extremely elongated shape. This ratio of length to width is far greater than any asteroid or comet observed within our solar system, further highlighting its unique nature among celestial objects. The study of Oumuamua has opened up new avenues for research into interstellar objects and the dynamics of our Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers are now more vigilant than ever, searching for similar objects that may pass through our solar system in the future. The advent of new telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope promises to enhance our ability to detect and study interstellar objects with unprecedented precision. In addition to its scientific importance, Oumuamua has captured the imagination of the public and media alike. Its mysterious origin and unexpected arrival have inspired numerous theories and speculations about extraterrestrial civilizations and the possibility of alien technology. While such hypotheses remain speculative, Oumuamua continues to fascinate and provoke discussions about the potential for life beyond Earth. The discovery of Oumuamua has also underscored the need for international cooperation in space exploration and scientific research. Collaborative efforts between observatories and research institutions worldwide have been crucial in gathering data and analyzing the properties of Oumuamua. These efforts have yielded valuable insights into the nature of interstellar objects and their significance in understanding the broader cosmos. Looking ahead, scientists hope to continue studying Oumuamua and similar objects to unravel the mysteries of their origins and characteristics. Advances in telescope technology and data analysis techniques will play a pivotal role in advancing our knowledge of interstellar objects and their interactions with our solar system. Moreover, the discovery of Oumuamua has sparked discussions about the need for enhanced planetary defense strategies. While Oumuamua posed no threat to Earth during its passage through our solar system, the incident highlighted the potential risks posed by interstellar objects and the importance of early detection and monitoring systems. In conclusion, Oumuamua stands as a testament to the wonders and mysteries of our universe. Its unexpected arrival from interstellar space has challenged existing theories and sparked new avenues of research into the nature of celestial objects. As scientists continue to study Oumuamua and similar objects, we are poised to gain deeper insights into the origins, composition, and dynamics of interstellar space. The ongoing quest to understand Oumuamua exemplifies humanity's enduring curiosity and quest for knowledge about the cosmos beyond our own solar system.